hello out there. It's me. It's me. Your dear friend, Mark. I don't know who you are. I'm telling you right here. Here once again to hack together a bunch of bullshit about tying flies and fishing and whatever else I feel like into the show that I call Secret Society of Fly Tires. If you can handle that, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. There's a natural urge that pretty much every dedicated angler has, and that is to someday make it to Alaska to witness its wild beauty. That's why I interviewed my buddy J.D. Ritchie for this episode. He spent a lot of time there, whipping a jet boat around the waters of the Togiak River, helping anglers live out what is often at the top of their bucket list, catching wild salmon in Alaska, alongside hungry grizzly bears doing the same thing. Alaska seems like it could get real quiet, too. A cold, moon-like landscape, ready to remind us all of how easy we have it back home in our warm 2014 Toyota Priuses. Would I end up finding it unsettling to exist in such a quiet place? So quiet that I can hear my blood pumping and ligaments stretching? I kind of miss my kids saying, hey dad, look at this already, and I haven't even gotten to Alaska yet. The small man in the glasses who wanted nothing but time, now just a part of a smashed landscape, just a piece of the rubble. The quiet in Alaska may also seem kind of ominous and unsettling to me because of the many weird stories that come out of the area. You know there's a community of Yeti or whatever out there. There aren't many better places for a snow Bigfoot to live without being noticed. I'm not sure the people who live in Alaska would even care. Bigfoot families probably show up and get in line at the Yeti Dog's food truck just like everyone else. Have you heard of Talking Ear Boy? No, but I hope you tell us right now because it sounds weird, cool, and believable. This Alaskan phenomenon is said to be some type of spiritual possession that happens to young Alaskan children and manifests itself by somehow morphing the inflicted child's ear into a mouth that speaks. Hey, it's me, talking ear boy. I definitely didn't just make a cheap attempt at an origin story for a weird thing that I do to my own kids by pinching one of their ears together into a little taco type shape and using it as a puppet. Please don't try it on children you don't know already because it's weird and stupid. Hello, real cops? Yes, I'd like to register a complaint. Over 200 species of birds have been seen on the Togiak Refuge, and it's home to 48 different mammals. Land mammals include wolves, moose, brown and black bears, coyotes, Canadian lynx, arctic fox, muskrat, wolverines, red fox, boa constrictors, marmot, beaver, marten, two species of otter, and porcupine, and apparently more because I didn't name off 48 mammals there. My friend and guest today, J.D. Ritchie, has spent enough of his time guiding folks that travel there to almost call himself a resident at this point. He may not be some fancy Victorian salmon fly tire. In fact, he definitely isn't one of those. He is what we refer to as a lifer. He's a true waterman. You might be saying to yourself, why did Matt interview someone who doesn't tie a whole lot of flies on this fly tying podcast when he hasn't interviewed my favorite fly tire? I don't know the answers. I just told you that I do what I want, 